my surprise. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Hey everybody, I am Twine to Tiger Dude and I am here to review Dark Skies. Dark Skies is about when this family moves into the suburban life and then they find out that there's a terrifying and evil force coming after them and they think it would have something to do with aliens. In my opinion, this film, it was pretty unwatchable. It was kind of a bad movie. It was kind of an unwatchable experience in my opinion. It does star Carrie Russell, Josh Hamilton, and J.K. Simmons. Carrie Russell, she does a good job in this film. She was enjoyable. There was a times where she was iffy, but I don't blame her necessarily for being iffy at times. I blame the script for that. Josh Hamilton, all right here. The rest of the performances, they're fine. J.K. Simmons, in my opinion, he is awesome here. He is the best part, but he really doesn't appear until the last 30 minutes of the film, and you don't get that much of the guy, but he was so awesome, and I enjoyed J.K. Simmons' performance here. He was important to the story, I would say, even though he wasn't in here that much. I'm just glad he wasn't wasted, because come on, it's J.K. Simmons. He's an awesome actor. This film gets all stupid. There are some seriously stupid moments in this film where it even tries to be scary, but it tries so hard that it's not even scary at all. There's actually some moments where I would actually laugh because of how stupid and ridiculous some things are. And when some things try to get all scary, it wasn't really scary. The film is just, uh... The acting from the sun mainly, <laughs> yeah. And then there's a subplot with the sun that is absolutely unnecessary. The subplot with the sun, <laughs> yeah, just, it, it could have been wiped out. There was no need for that freaking plot. Once J.K. Simmons does come in Dark Skies, the film actually becomes really interesting. The last 30 minutes, it was really interesting. I'm not going to lie. It was actually disturbing. It was dark. It was actually scary, in my opinion. Even though the aliens did look fake looking. But, I mean, just the image of aliens and just what was going down. I gotta say, Last 30 Minutes is the most impressive part of Dark Skies, in my opinion. And I gotta say, it did save the film. Because, like I said, for most of the hour of the film, it was, like, pretty unwatchable. It wasn't that good. Not scary at all, actually. But then the last three meds comes, and it becomes really interesting. Oh my gosh, it was, like, so disturbing. It was actually pretty haunting to watch in the last 30 minutes, because it does have a few disturbing images they show. I'm like, whoa, this is Peter their T, and, and they actually went those few disturbing routes. The ending of this film kind of leaves a sequel. I have no idea how that's going to work. I guess whatever. But if there is a sequel, I hope they do make an improvement over this film. Pretty weak first one hour, but a really interesting last 30 minutes. So I'm going to give Dark Skies 2 out of 4 stars. I'm 22 Tiger Dude, and don't forget that I will always have... Tiger Power!